Friends, I wanted to share a technique for sharing 360 images. Uh, in case you're having trouble figuring out how to share these images you shoot with an Insta360 X4. So we know that if we go into, uh, into the program, into Insta360 Studio, that we can look at these. And, we, and most of you, I think, know that if you share these images, if you export over here, you got to export. Let me get it out of Animate and back in 360 Photo. If I click Export over here, and I make sure that I'm, I've got this selected, right? Ex to export 360. It's going to export a JPEG at 11,904 by 5952, the way I had it set up, so I can do Start Export. And it will export that JPEG. That JPEG that can then be shared, uh, this JPEG, not this, not the, the uh, regular file, but the, the resultant JPEG can be shared to places like Facebook. And here on Facebook, I've got some of these where I've shared them. I've exported the, uh, you can see various different ones. The problem comes up for people that don't have Facebook. What if you want to share these images with somebody that doesn't like Facebook, doesn't want to be on there? Well, one solution I found is to share share them on Google Photos. And you see here, here's one. Well, what I did, I exported the JPEG the way I just showed you how to do it. Then I opened them up, and in the dead center of the resultant JPEG file, I would overlay text like this. Click mouse and drag to pan. You scroll wheel to zoom in and out. And so you give them this option. And they don't have to have Facebook, and they don't even have to have Google Photos to be able to pull it off. Let me show you what I've done. I'll close this. Here is, let me go back a second. Hopefully I've done this right. Here is my my inventory of photos. So let's say uh, I want to share one of these. I'm just going to pick one. Uh, so there's that. Now, since I'm logged in as myself over here in Google, it's going to come up this way. You would think that you could share this this URL here, but they would have to be logged in to you, logged in as you personally to, to do that. Let me show you an example. I'm going to copy this and I'll show you how we fix it. So I'm going to go over to uh, Fire, Firefox where I'm not logged in. See, I'm not logged in. I'm going to go ahead and put that, paste that in here. It's going to give it, it's going to give a, it's going to require a login. And uh, so the best way to do this, the way to do this where you have no, it works just seamlessly is you go to one of these images, click on it, and you're going to click your share button up here. You can say create link. Okay, create link. And it's going to create a, a link here. I'm going to say copy. Now this is this is a little bit of jumping through a hoop, but I'm going to do this. Then I'm going to paste it in, in a new window. And here we've got it, but see it comes up and it's not in the 360 view. They have to click this little thing here, but you don't want them to have to do that, right? So you can do this. And now this big long URL has all the, you see the share here? It has all the share information in it. So you can, you can spin this one around any way you need to. You can zoom in, you can zoom out. And I'm going to copy that, Command C. And then I'm going to go to this Firefox where I'm not logged in as anybody, right? I'm logged in as nobody. I do this and kaboom. It might flash on the screen the other version, but it will bring you back to uh, to this 360 view where you can spin it around. And so I, I thought this might be helpful to some people. What I've done, so that the process is, is let me repeat it again just so everybody's clear on it. You're going to go back to whatever image you want to share. Let's say it's this one here. You're going to click on it. You're going to click. This is not what you want to share. You cannot share that with them. It has to have the share word in here, right? So you have to click on this little share button right here. Then you're going to create a link. You create that link. Then you're going to copy this link. Go to another window. I know this is a bit of a of jumping through a hoop. But you go over here. And then you're going to click this thing over here, right? Now... Now you've got a URL that has share in it. We're going to copy this, Command C. We're going to go back over to Firefox to test it. I'm going to paste it in the hole here. And boom. And there you go. This, by the way, is a, a new patient tower, the interior of a new patient tower that we uh, have built over at UNC Health Blue Ridge where I work. And so I, the, the other thing I do, again, is when you export your JPEG, I go back into Photoshop and I open it up and put this text in the dead center of the picture. 
and that way it's going to always pop up with that stuff on the screen so folks that's how i do it i'm going to show you an example of, of what i've done i've gone in like this entire here's, here's a big a whole mess of these so here like second floor shell space for future expansion so that's that's what I, i'm calling the image this is the actual URL for the image. That's the, the, and this is the shared URL. So what I do, I make my name, I copy the URL, I go do the, go through the little hoops to get the good shared thing. Then I've got me an inventory of, uh, of URLs that I can share with people. So here I'm still in Firefox. Again, I'm not logged in as anybody and I'm not even logged into any Google account. And I can do this and boom. Here is that shell space. It's pretty cool looking too. It's huge actually. You could probably put a couple NBA basketball courts down in here. So there you go, folks. That's how I am doing this. Uh, hopefully it's been clear. I'm sorry if I've been just a little confusing, but hopefully not. Hopefully you can follow the steps that I've sh shown here. You go to your um, you go to your inventory of photos. You, uh, you I mean you first you export your JPEG. You upload them to Google Photos. You, um, you open the image, share the image, then you go and you, after you open up that shared image, you click that thing and this little, this little circle thing up here and that becomes your, um, your URL that you want to share with people and you can paste it into documents or create links with it. Peace to all who watch, subscribe to the channel if you like.